Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques that help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jen Gianni here, and we're using the Cadillac and the roll down bar today. So notice I have my ankles hanging off the end, which for a lot of people is just gonna be more comfortable and it's gonna help them find better extension. Now, today we're gonna to look at finding a really fierce mini swan. So notice I have this pretty low because when I press the bar down and I come into my mini swan, I want to have the bar stay down into the mat. So we'll start with the bar up. I'm gonna have my legs and feet about hip distance apart. Start with my head down. So on my inhale, as I press the bar down into the mat, or my knuckles down into the mat, right? You can decide what you like here. Um, you're thinking about, again, lifting the front of the spine, dropping the back of the spine, but, but in order to find that upper back extension, mm, it's pretty difficult for people, right? So this is why I like this version. So what most people will do, right, is that they'll go straight into their lumbar spine to find that mini swan. So I want them to really find a long neutral. I want them to find that heavy tail, that expansive lumbar spine. And then the game here is to find an upper back extension um, without changing the angle of the lumbar spine. So on the inhale, the bar comes down and then that gives someone leverage to kind of slide the bar into the chest, kind of inject the arms into the arm sockets, keep the tail heavy and the collarbone open so that they can really bloom their heart forward and find that extension in their upper back instead of just in the lower back and then from the lower belly, releasing it down. Let's see that again. So my glutes are relaxed for right now. My tail is heavy. And then I like on the inhale to press the bar down, rolling my collarbones up, drag the bar into me. Notice the bar or my hands are touching the mat. And I want this feeling that I'm injecting my arms into the arm sockets so that the heart can bloom forward. I have my optimal long collarbone. And then on the exhale, I'm going to try to effort as much as I can to resist the coming down. So just a tool to create some awareness, right? Using that tactile feedback, using that roll on the mat to try to better come into awareness about that feeling of upper back extension. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. See you next time and never stop learning.